The monumental awaits thee above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. That ornament... That belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. My dearest little baby. May she rest in peace. May I ask a favor? Would you mind giving me that hair ornament? I'd like to have it in memory of my daughter. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I found it discarded on the main road. It might look ordinary, but it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. I would be happy to lighten your load. If only something could be done to help. Best of luck to you. Back in the time that I lived below Bonataria Castle, King Alan left on some strange business, then returned with horrible demons in tow. Soon, the land was ravaged by soul-starved madmen. My spine shudders just to think about it. If I did not have my miracle stone shard, keepsake of my grandfather, I may not have survived. If I did not have my miracle... Oh, you must be another disciple of God. I too am on a quest to fight the demons in the name of the Lord. May I share God's power with you? Do not be bashful. We are both cut from the same cloth. A miracle is a heavenly act, but spells are the acts of demons, the work of soul arts. They have similar effects, and yet one is clearly evil, and the other is clearly good. Magicians, in the end, are mere servants of the demons. A miracle is a yeah, magician's in the air. I see. You wish to train yourself in stoicism. I pray we meet again. I have sinned. I swore allegiance to Saint Urbain, but was of no use to him. And now. O oh Lord, punish me. For I have not the strength to punish myself. Oh, August One, I hesitate to imagine your present state. Deep within the darkness, where no light shall ever shine, will you continue to pray, even in such misery? Oh, August, will you continue to pray? Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest you. The black-robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's the morose one, with eyes sealed, compacted by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware, do not decay into a foul beast. What's happened? Have you lost your nerve? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. At least we will be safe. <laughs> Are you here to face the demons? If so, please free Sage Freight the Visionary from his cell in Latria. I will help you however I can. I can teach you elementary spells. Sage Freight is a gleaming hope for humankind, but I have not the power to save him alone. Master Freight is a great man who has systemized the magic of the soul arts to make it possible 
for human imitation. By observing the state of Boletaria and the demons within it, he is likely to pave the way for greater things. All the more reason that I must meet Master Frake as soon as possible. I see. Suit yourself. Just ensure that you rescue Sage Frake as quickly as possible. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be. We were able to lull the Old One back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world, lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land, one to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowman. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished and only I remain. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber. And if not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. We neutralize the old one and ban the soul arts. Then we spread the archstones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, Man's memory of history is ever short, and before long he repeated his mistakes. 
the monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten, and the short-sighted King Alant once again roused the old one. The monument. Brave soul, for whom death is no fear. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. What is it? Seekest thou the power of souls? Of course. After all, thou requirest strength. Go ahead. Touch the demon inside me. Let these vagabond souls become thine own. For myself, I am only here to tend to each flame. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit. I am here for thee. Thou see, then touch the soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. 
Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended.
Good day to you. I can forge weapons for you. No interest, I can tell you. You're not going to last long. 